uh, just setting off from day two and um, it's a, actually a very pleasant evening um, camping at uh, Houston Gorge there's a bit of building work going on there this morning they're putting in um, sort of quite large impressive chalets uh, but uh, by heck the owls were in good form last night uh, but it's an absolutely glorious morning and this should be good here's just the view we've got as we drop down into uh, Loft House to get back to the path steady climb out the village and uh, this is the reward just up here it's getting towards the top of the dale and it's absolutely stunning the uh, the reservoir is just out of sight around the corner there to to the left and that's where we're heading for before coming back down the other side and we'll be walking back over the hill up there somewhere right, but um, Absolutely perfect morning. Uh, not a breath of wind just here. I imagine it'll be a bit breezier further up. But uh, yeah, what a fantastic walk so far. Well, the top of the dale is quite remote. There's actually a lot of uh, uh, dwellings up here. Um, there's farms dotted all over the place, and these uh, these bands that are so typical of the dales. Well, being Nidderdale, this is uh, the the River Nid, or certainly the uh, the dried up stream bed of it at the at the moment. Uh, apparently, uh, a bit further up the dale, it disappears, 
um, into I guess some underground caverns and it looks as if it reappears just down there uh, where the water is but this whole this whole section here is completely dry um, I guess times a heavy rain this will this will come back but it's uh, it's quite spectacular it's uh, whole area is, is limestone um, so it's understandable how the water just gets in and and disappears into fissures in the rock and erodes it away but uh, it's not often you get to see a dried up riverbed like this yeah well this is obviously where the uh, mm -hmm. the water disappears um, and it's quite difficult to tell where it's vanishing um, but it's only maybe a stretch of a hundred metres or so of uh, empty riverbed nice. climb up from the nid which we've left behind and uh, we're probably so pretty close to the high point of the walk now but we're right up at the, at the head of the dale almost on open moorland uh, just off to the to my left here you can sort of see I don't know if you'll be able to see it past my head uh, that's where we came from, down towards Loft House, or Loft Houses. Um, and just in front of us, you can, is the, uh, is the dam, and I'll pan around a, in a second. It's the, the dam for, I think it was Black Scar, was it? Yeah. Black, Black Scar Reservoir. Um, but, uh, the, the weather is absolutely glorious at the moment um, and it's pretty warm but we've got an absolute stunning view up the dale and I'll just pan round off me so you get an idea of what we're looking at you might not be able to pick it out on this but the the uh, the dam to the reservoir straight up ahead uh, feeding into the Ned and it's, uh, I, I think it's part of the water supply for Bradford um, but what an absolutely glorious area to be walking in and um, I mean we've walked maybe 12 miles of the trail so far uh, from yesterday and from today, today. And already this is proving to be quite potentially one of the best uh, short trails we'll have walked. But uh, I'll, I'll probably pick things up a bit further up.
excuse the heavy breathing, it's <laughs> been a bit of a steep climb up this, but that's where we've been. Nidderdale in all its glory. And if I pan round, we've got the dam and Black Scar Reservoir just ahead of us, and that's where we're headed to. Uh, it's maybe about three quarters of a mile, something like that away. Uh, we're actually heading away from it at the moment. So hopefully the path will uh, turn around and head towards it. Ah. Well, that's us finally made it to the dam. And uh, so it's been a few tasty climbs in there, uh, but it's been well worth it. Um, so this is as far up Nidderdale as we'll go, we cross the uh, uh, the dam itself, although there is a, uh, a sort of semi-official official extension which goes up right round the reservoir here. But uh, we'll be crossing the dam. Um, now there, there's supposedly a cafe on the other side. Uh, which says it's only open at weekends. I'm hoping that we're, because we're on the Thursday before Easter, um, it might well be open. But maybe I'm being a bit too optimistic, but there's a fair few cars up here. Um, once we're over the other side, it's all down, all downhill back to uh, Hosting Gorge, famous last ones. the dam and we're now climbing up and away uh, on the last stretch to Middlesmoor which is just a few hundred meters from the campsite and uh, this is actually taking us out of Nidderdale and up over the moor so it's uh, quite a direct route back to Middlesmoor um, it should be quite interesting as we're heading out onto the moor. Um, excuse the heavy breathing as, uh, as we're climbing pretty quickly. But uh, there's not many open views at the moment, but as we progress, uh, things should open up a little bit into the into Nidderdale and hopefully we'll get a nice uh, nice little view down but uh, yeah the middle third of this uh, has been hard work I'm not the fittest at the moment but there's been some uh, nice little climbs to negotiate plus this one we're doing at the moment but it's a complete change of landscape and I'll just pan round um, quite different to the dale itself open moorland quite rocky but it's lovely so uh, two miles or so to go and we'll be in the pub, hopefully, assuming it's open.
there, this this route to uh, Middlemoor we're walking just at the moment. It's it's actually a uh, byway, uh, open to all traffic, which is quite unusual. Uh, it's well worn in places, um, just obviously with the uh, some traffic coming up and uh, actually the original surface I guess is still in uh, reasonable condition in places um, but uh, back down at the reservoir on the uh, on the north side um, the guidebook mentions an old settlement um, which was on a on a drove road from uh, Scotland uh, which I guess either to uh, heading towards Leeds or Bradford somewhere like that so I, I suspect this is a continuation of the drove road it's very much in the drove road style and as you can see just up where the gate is it's heading in between uh, Some walls out here on the moor, which is quite typical uh, of of drove roads, especially in the uh, in the borders. Um, but this makes for quite quite quick going. He says blowing out his backside, but um, I think once we get over the brow of the hill here we'll get a nice view of Middlesmoor and right down towards Pateley Bridge uh, Getting close to Middlemoor now. Um, just see some houses coming into view, but we've got an absolutely glorious view right down the right down to the dale. It's been a, a red kite. Uh, flying about the moor. Seen quite a few this morning, it's possibly the same one. Um, just flying about the dale. Uh, there's certainly one down at Loft Houses this morning and we've seen uh, seen several uh, as we've been walking up the dale. Um, but that is just a, a glorious sight. Um, and we're, we're gently dropping down um, into the remotest village in the dale and uh, you can just make out the church um, and there's been a church there since medieval times so, uh, and I'm hoping that the pub there is going to be open because I am gasping for a pint.
as we come down. Uh, I think we're going to need to go through the gate. <laughs> Because the pinch style, I guess that's to stop uh, the naughty little lambs getting out. <laughs> Good luck getting through it, they're evil. And shoot you out. <laughs> you'd, you'd be propelled him head first into the other. I think I hate them more than I do stop. Yeah. Right, which way have we got to go? If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a comment below or a like or subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.